Okay, let's take a look at how to build a uh, 2D array and actually output a 2D array. So what we first need to do is create an array and we're gonna use a variable and we're gonna do dim for dimensionalize and we're gonna call ours int build. Now to make it an array, I need to open my parentheses and we need to input some values. This would be a 1D array. To make it a 2D array, we list two values. So I'm gonna use uh, three. I can use whatever numbers I want. It doesn't uh, make a difference. If I wanted to do five, four, I could, but this is gonna mean three rows and three columns. So when you see this, you can think of this as X and Y coordinates if you want, but this is sets up my 2D array. Now I need to set up a variable for my rows and my integers. So I'm gonna dimensionalize two more for my rows and my columns, and I'm gonna dimensionalize those as integers. Now, because I'm gonna use a for loop, I need to have a max rows variable, and I need a max columns variable. Now that I have my variables, I am ready to go. And so we can go ahead and start actually setting some of these variables. Now, in my 2D array, I have three rows, and have three columns. So I'm gonna set int max rows and int max columns to three. Now, if you look at these green underlying uh, variables that I have, don't worry, those will go away because we are going to use them. So I'm gonna set int max rows to three and int max columns, and it'd help if I spelled it correctly, to three as well. And if you look, you can see that the two green lines have gone away because we've actually used them. Now that I've set the max rows and max columns to three, corresponding back to my 2D array, I can go ahead and start writing code to output my 2D array. And for that, we're gonna use a for loop. So I'm gonna have four int row equals one to int max rows. So what I have here is in my for loop, it's gonna start at one and it's gonna go all the way to three because my int max rows is three. Now, because we have a 2D array, we need one for loop for rows, and we need another for loop for columns. And we are gonna put that for loop inside the existing for loop that we have. This is called a nested for loop. So I'm gonna have for int column equals one, two, and that is int max columns. Now that I have that, I can actually write some code. So I have a for loop for my rows and a for loop for my columns. So I'm gonna type in console.write because that is how we output. And inside I'm gonna put my variable which is int build. And what I want to output is my int row variable and my int column. So this will output what I need exactly, and it'll only do it three times. Now, because I haven't signed any, uh, anything to my array, it should print zeros. And with that, we're pretty much all done, but I wanna skip a line, so I'm gonna go here, and I'm gonna write just console.write line, which will skip a line at the end of the program. So now, I'm gonna go ahead and run my program, and we should get a three by three grid of zeros. And we do, we see that we have three rows and we have three columns and they're all zeros. And I wanna point out here, this is very important. If we used console.write line instead of write where this is right here, what would happen is you would just get nine zeros all the way down. You would not get a three by three grid. So that is how to build and output a 2D array. If you have any questions, you can always leave a comment below and uh, we'll see you guys next time.